I feel a lot more like open to things. I just love open spaces, but I do like to get in my own zone, in my own world, and I'll um, just, that's when it, the stuff just really keeps going. I just kind of go off of like little random thoughts and how that would look on canvas. I just go off of the little doodles in my head, <laughs> more or less. I guess I would say I'm, I'm, a, I'm an artist. I don't like to admit it. <laughs> I think it sounds kind of like, I don't know, like I'm an artist, you know, I don't know. I'm inventive. I kind of always try to figure out how things work and put together. But a lot of times, I mean, I don't usually explore like being an artist until I'm on the canvas. Like the canvas is my home base and that's where I just let it all go. Yeah, sometimes it is actually, because I like to put something down and then respond to it. And then sometimes I realize that um, like, uh, the way a mark I put organically on, like I just let it fall and let it drip. And again, playing with the kind of like exact preciseness of some shapes, but then how you can also create them organically without even realizing it. <laughs> I got to be a part of the undergrad show here at MSU, which was really cool. Um, the, they you would like can submit stuff and then they, a jury comes in and they decide what makes it in. And someone that's um, in the office and that's in DC for MSU was there looking at my stuff and picked out three different students and I was one of them and got to have their stuff taken to the MSU office in Washington, DC. So I have a painting there, um, which is a big accomplishment for me. <laughs> I never thought that would ever happen. So um, that's probably one of the really cool things. I am a graphic design major. That is what I'm majoring in. That's what I do like to do graphic stuff on the computer. Using what I do with my hand and try to put it into the mouse. I would like to work for a graphic design team, a design team, um, advertise. Uh, it would be awesome to like, you know, in Times Square, this would never happen. But in Times Square, if you saw like a big ad that you made or you, I was on like the team for Forever 21 or something like that, or Target and I, you know, my ad that I even just had a little touch in was there. That would just be so happy. You have to come up with what makes you paint and what makes you draw and what makes you design.